So, do you like, if you like action, adventure, and mystery, then you should probably try reading the 39 Clues, because it's got everything. And so the book, it's by multiple authors, but the first book is by the same author as the Percy Jackson books, but it has nothing to do with demigods. I just want to make that very clear. So if you come and try and read, read this book and you're like, oh, demigods, wait, what is this? There's no demigods in here whatsoever. Yeah, there's no demigods. So the book is basically about two orphans named Amy and Dan and their brother and sister, and their parents died in the fire when they were little. And so they live with their aunt Beatrice, who is frankly horrible to them. And their only real family, kind of, is their grandmother Grace, who dies on the first page of the first book. So they go to their grandmother's funeral, and at the will, the reading of the will, they find out that they're part of the world's most powerful family, and the family's power has kind of been split up into 39 clues, and you have to find all 39 clues, and when all 39 clues are like together, you get like the world's greatest treasure or whatever, and they have no idea what this treasure is, and they've got like a choice. They can either take the first clue out of 39, or they can walk away and keep a million dollars, or they can take the clue and give up the million dollars, and they choose the clue. Just like a couple of their other cousins who, from the beginning, are kind of evil. Yeah. So, they go into the clue hunt, and basically what's happening is their whole family is trying to kill them to get the clue, and they're like, oh, well, we want to be the world's most powerful humans, so we're just going to kill you right now, because we want to be the most powerful human ever. And that's basically it. And so, there's, if you like the first series, there's also a second series, and they're working on a third series at the moment, so that's about it.